It was always like a tragic disaster, but you know, we came out. We like worked it into the show. You know? It was part of us. You know, wherever we went, it was just calamity and disaster. And whoever we opened up for, they shared in it. You know. That was fun. Like you know, Peter would come up with these. He is part stand-up comedian. And right, what did, his tune, his bass was out of tune. Like we opened it up for Motley Crue, and he said, "Yeah, two th it is like stops the show, and he announces my bass is out of tune. I'm gonna give it back to my tech, and until I get a bass back that's in tune, I'm gonna stand here and do absolutely nothing." And that's what he did. That's he put what his he hands did. behind his back in front of like you know whatever, ten thousand people, and he just sat there. His foot. Just sat there and waited, and then they gave him back a bass, and we started the show. Again. That was the night. That was the night he just decided out of a whim to spray paint all of our instruments flat black. And this was in Texas? Yeah, we were in like Houston. The most humid like place that. in the San world, Antonio. 45 minutes before I go on. I go on stage, this is my guitar, the strings are off and it's got wet flat black spray paint all over. I'm like, what the hell's the matter with this guy? So he spray painted my I had to restring my guitar. <laughs> I had to restring my guitar, like tune it up, get out on stage. And finally I made it, you know, I was, I was shitting my pants. I was like so overwhelmed. And you know, he hits his first, of course, he hits his first note, and it's the worst note you've ever heard in your life. <laughs> <laughs> you know? like, I'm gonna stand here and do absolutely nothing. Meanwhile, I got spray paint all over my pants, stuck to my arms. You know, the entire tour, less than maybe another four or five weeks or whatever it was, the paint still didn't dry. <laughs> still didn't dry. Then he went after his drums. Yeah. He went after spray painted his cymbals. <laughs> like, like, Dink. <laughs> We had to like, you know, like get, just get rid of all the spray paint on the tour. You know? <laughs> right, don't hide the booze. <laughs> hide the spray paint. <laughs> a million stories like that. See, that's, that's exactly it. That's, that's what it's about. That's, that's you, you know, it's running amok, man. You know, and that whole that whole run on Bloody Kisses. That's. That was every day. 18 months. 18 months on the road. Like, you know, you guys were a part of it too. You know, yeah. you guys saw it, like, you know, sure word was getting back to the office, what was going on out right. there, especially when we were touring with Pantera. Right. That was it's, the best. The, the, some of those nights were absolutely insane. legendary. You know, yeah. I was talking to Big Val, the security guard, last night, and he was telling us, he was telling me how uh, when they went back on Ozfest, when Ozfest came through, uh, the Thomas and Mack Center, which was the last show with Pantera when, when Type O opened up for them. They had, you know, we went out there with the huge toilet paper fight and stuff. Thomas and Mac Thousand banned, Rolls. banned Pantera from playing there. Yeah. Yeah. They got banned. And Val, like, you know, Ozfest came through and they were like, you know, we don't want these guys here. <laughs> it was a disaster. You know, we, the, the, it was Pantera, so much toilet paper, even, their show they, broke down. Their show broke down. They didn't they got three songs into their set. It was a thousand rolls. Oh, toilet paper everywhere.